Hello and welcome back. In the short lecture, we are going to learn how to create Azure Virtual Network with Cloud Shell, especially from the CLI command. So this is going to be purely a lab based. So get ready for that. So as a first step, what we do is we try to create our resource group with the CLI commands. It's a easy group create command we're going to use and also we're going to create a AZ network we need to uh, create and at the point uh, we are going to delete the creator resource group also so that we can clean up the entire uh, lab what we have done so let's begin with that so just click on the cloud shell this is a cloud shell icon uh, so I'm going to click here the cloud shell. So this time it's going to ask me to choose either bash or PowerShell So you can switch uh, to bash because this lab is purely based on the CLI command So the first command I'm going to use is the AZ group create uh, with the name called my resource group name uh, With the location ECS2. So that's a, a command. It's going to create uh, my resource group uh, within my uh, Azure portal. So if I just go back to my resource groups and if I just uh, do a quick re uh, refresh it should be able to come and if I just go down you see here my resource group is available now and uh, within that resource group there are no other objects are available because the resource group is a top level and which contains all other object or Azure resources the second command which I'm going to use would be definitely uh, definitely a command called az network we need to create so i'll just paste that command here and i can explain here az network that's a network which is vnet create with a group name called my resource group so within this my resource group it's gonna create a vnet called my vnet that's the name what we have given here so this is the name of the vnet a group it, sh it, sh it should be created automatically now so if I just go back to the Azure portal and uh, you see here the address space this is the address space only will be available but there are no default subnets right so we're going to create the subnets that's another command but let's go back to the Azure portal and see uh, what we can uh, what we have so far so we should have the vnet name so if I just quickly do the refresh here so I should have my vnet that's a vnet and it's created in ECS2 and uh, interestingly address space is available but subnets are not available so for that I'm gonna actually uh, run another command with, within the CLI so the command should be here az network again vnet create with my resource group but this time i'm going to uh, use the my vnet address prefix uh, with with my actual address uh, prefix which we have given which is a 10.0.0.0 slash 16 and to the next line here and my subnet name is my subnet that's a name what we have given but now i'm going to here give the additional prefix for the subnet prefix as 10.0.0.0 slash 24 so that's a one subnet i'm going to create within my uh, main address space of the prefix so once i execute this command it has created uh, it's going to create actually in a minute or so in fact it has just created and if you see here uh, this is my address uh, prefix that's good and also my vnet name which is my vnet in this case and my address prefix which is my nothing but my subnet here right and uh, that's my subnet that has created successfully so now if i just go back to the same uh, page and do a quick refresh this would actually uh, show me a uh, my subnet information with uh, 10.0.0 slash 24 so that's how it's gonna work and if you wanted to delete any of these uh, resource groups you can do that and uh, that would be a cleanup uh, step like you can go ahead and do the az group delete and uh, give the resource group name and with a confirmation yes or no so that would take maybe a minute or so to create uh, to delete automatically all the required resources will be completely remote and uh, if you just go back to that resource group there will not be any entries of any of the azure services uh, will not be available and if you want to create one more time you can create with the same resource group 
so let's wait for a second check the resources of this lecture where you have this all the commands has been already given and you can use those commands uh, to create this entire lab and now it's successfully created deleted and now if I just go to my resources resource group and do a quick refresh this term that has been automatically taken out I hope this lecture is useful for you thank you for watching this